big bad butt lock. Woo. B -b 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 Bike vlogger here. It's a wet and rainy day today. A little wet and rainy. Cars, cars. So topic of the day, topic of the day. Where do you park your bike? Where do you lock up your bike? Where do you put your bike when it's outside in the rain? Or no, just not outside in the rain. Anytime, where do you put your bike? Where do you lock your bike up? Where's a smart place to put your bike? Well, the smart place to put your bike is always within your sight. Don't let your bike out of your sight. But if you have to let your bike out of your sight, where's a good spot to light, lock up your bike? My, my recommendation is a busy area where there's a lot of people, a lot of witnesses to theft, theoretically. Um, it would be an area that is not right next to the street. Now, why do I say that? If you park your bike right next to the street, that just makes it easier for someone to hop out of a truck, you know, get out the bolt cutters and cut your lock or whatever, throw it in the back of the truck, and then just speed off with it pretty much. So if you can lock your bike, if you're gonna lock your bike up to something, lock it to something that's not near a street curb. Uh, what else? Lock it to something that isn't going to um, be able to just pull it out of the ground. Pretty much something that's in the ground, bolted in the ground. You could lock to a tree. I'm kind of a tree lover myself, so I don't really like that idea. That was the door zone. Watch out for the door zone. Watch out for the door zone. But, you know, whew, it's kind of cold. Oh, I'm wet out here. Oh, dying. Have to wait for a little bit. Here's a couple more people. Then we should be able to go. Woo. Getting soaked in the rain. Getting soaked in the rain. So how do you lock your bike? You can, let me show you in a second here. I explained this in a video a long time ago. I think I got some dislikes about that, which is kind of surprising. The way I recommend doing it, I think it's the Sheldon Brown way. Correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, you just lock your rear wheel to something within this triangle. So you lock all of this onto something, like I'll wrap it around the tree here or something. Sorry, tree. Hitting it with the pedal there. There we go. So yeah, just lock this part of the bike to something. Is there something wrong with that advice? I don't know. You want to lock up your front wheel, the best thing you do with the front wheel is just pop it out. I mean, if you're going to ride with quick release and carry your front wheel inside with you. Yeah, it's kind of goofy, but hey, that's the best way to prevent your front wheel from being stolen. Just take it with you. <laughs> if it's that easy, it might not be that easy to uh, disconnect, though, if you have all this stuff connected to it. In which case, it'd be more of a hassle for a thief to steal it in that case, because they got to disconnect other things that are connected to it, so... Eh. Teach his own. It's kind of a balance, you know? A balance. A b -b balance b -b -b balance And a little disclaimer here. I don't have any sort of case on my camera here, so... It might be kind of hard to see. I don't really want to smudge the camera by wiping on it, so I apologize for that. And if the audio starts cutting out, you know, it's because the, the mic is waterlogged and I can't do much about that on a bike. All right. So we're just kind of on our way to work a little bit here. It's actually, you know, not work day today, so, <laughs> but I'm going this way anyway. I can pretend like I'm going to work right now, right? I pretend by commute. I'll fake by commute. Oop. Yep, gotta watch out for the dozones. Watch out for the dozones. Woo! So I do have a light on my bike. It's a uh, little light though, it's not my big light. I usually have when it's dark. Now would be a good time to have that bigger light though, since it is uh, rather dark. Although I am wearing sunglasses and it may look kind of bright. Let's go to the right, the left. Left, left, right, left. Woo. I like coming back here because it's quiet. 
a lot of trees and not usually a lot of people here because they just got so much more land versus all the rich people Woo. oh my gosh it is actually starting to make me cold here my hands aren't red yet from the frigid temperatures but it's almost spring right almost spring I think it's still getting below freezing at night though so we aren't quite out of winter yet I always think I'm gonna jinx it though when I say these things so I try not to say them no. a line of cars that way so I'll have to wait a moment so what else? What else? Where to lock your bike? Like I said, ideally you wouldn't get your uh, the bike out of your sight. So ideally you'd lock your bike inside where it's nice and warm and cozy, you know, next to your desk or something in inside, you know, if you can, or if there's an indoor parking or something, that's what you do. Woo. Big truck, big truck, Whew. big stinky truck. Oh, it is a little bit, just a little bit cold. Yes, I know. Did I mention that? I might mention it. I don't know. It's the fun thing about being on a bike. Every day is an adventure. Every day you're not usually dressed perfectly doesn't always work out that way work out the why downhill down down downhill no tolerance <laughs> I find that's funny that speed limit sign says 30 miles per hour and then no tolerance it's it's just pretty much admitting that they know everybody doesn't follow the speed limit right because everybody does break the speed limit. I don't think I ever see anyone on the road as driving under the speed limit. Because, you know, you think a speed limit means it's the limit. It's the max. You can't go over the max, right? <laughs> uh, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Ah, that's a wet one. Let's go this way. Let's go up this way. Up the hill. What the hell? Oh man. Yeah, the fingers are getting pretty cold now. Uh, so yeah. Walking up the bike. What kind of locks do I recommend? I don't know if there's been a lot of advancements in <laughs> lock technology over the years. Like since about the past nine, ten years I've been doing this on the YouTubes. Uh, you lock, you know, I mean, that's or a D lock is what some call them. Just like basically a really big lock. That's kind of the way to go. At least 13 millimeter diameter shackle. A little bit harder to cut. I've heard you can get the, um, like if you want an actual chain, you can get the kind that are like square shaped uh, chain links. This isn't anything new. I mean, this has been a thing, I think it's been sold by uh, the Kryptonite big brand for like 20 years now, so <laughs> that's not new information. But if you're new to biking, check it out. If you really want a, a big, a big bad butt, a big bad butt, big bad butt lock. Woo. See, if I go this way, I'll probably en encounter some pedestrians, but we'll find out. Because we'll find out one way or another. <laughs> as long as we don't run into another cyclist going too fast. We we'll cross over the little mini freeway here. Woo, it's a lad, a little bit lad. Just a little bit. Train tracks. I saw a, uh, whoa, it's loud up here. Let's get down there. A news article, they're uh, investing money into the light rail system here which is what that is 
for uh, security measures because I did a video a long time ago about Metrolink, uh, which is the little light rail system around here. And they don't have any turnstiles or anything. So you can really just pretty much walk right onto the train. It's kind of the honor system pretty much. Of course, in my video, I paid and I got on and all that goodness, but probably they're gonna make it harder to just kind of, you know, get on the train without paying. Whew. It's a good thing because a lot of a lot of cities are kind of broke now. I mean, they got an infusion of cash, you know, from the government, the feds or whatever, but that's only gonna last for so long. Let's go this way. Let's go up this way. I might still go to work, even though I don't need to go to work right now, but I'm just gonna go a different way. So let's go this way. Kind of maybe hit it from the north or something. Come at it from the north angle. The north angle. North Angle. Whew. Yeah, so can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I don't know if you can hear anything. I got a whole playlist if you're interested in me riding my bike in the rain. If you just feel like you're in a rainy kind of a bike mood or whatever, check out my rain bike playlist. I want to go straight here, actually. Let's get in the straightaway lane. There we go. How about that? Isn't that good timing? I think so. Go, 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 bike blogger, go. Go, go, bike blogger, go. Off the hell. Off the hell. Off the hell. <laughs> that is one of the best things about biking and not actually having to go to work. Is, uh, is this a four way stop? I think so. I think I might have actually gone down this street before in the past. See what, how far it goes though. I think it does loop back around. So we'll find out. Woo. Here home. Probably coming up on a dead end. I hope not, hope not. Going all the way down the hill right now. But no, what I was gonna say is that's kind of a nice thing about not going into work. Like, you know, you're going into work, but you're not going to work. So how do they worry about being all wet and stuff when I get there? Because I'm not working today. <laughs> it's my day off. It's my day off. So I decided to ride my bike in the rain. I decided to ride my bike in the rain. This is one of those things you can't plan for. You know, if you plan out in advance, like, oh, I'm going to take that day off. And then you take the day off and it's like, oh, but yesterday was beautiful. And I had to be working inside yesterday. Oh, I couldn't have traded it for <laughs> you know, the other day. Oh, well. All right, we're going to circle back up here. Circle back up. It's kind of a bumpy road. Whew. Hups, it is high. I think we might actually be in University City, Missouri, right now. Could be wrong, though. Kind of near the border of uh, Clayton, Missouri, and U City, as we call it, us locals. Ups, ups, Liza, up the hill, up the hill. Whew. I was just looking over there to the left. All right, past it, but that house over there—it's got like a little house attached to it, and it looks like it's just a garage or garages. Say, wow, their garage is the size of someone's house. <laughs> That's capitalism. Whew. It's weird. I don't know if any of you are moderately wealthy or wealthy who watch my channel, but I can't imagine. It's got to be a weird lifestyle, like the working rich, you know? It's like basically you're so wealthy. Maybe not super rich, but you're so wealthy that you don't have to work. And so if you do work, doing whatever, it's like whatever money you make, you can spend all of it, you know, on, you know, just, you know, I don't know, whatever, toys, basically. It's like any money you make, you can just buy toys with. Imagine that. <laughs> not having to pay rent or, uh, yeah, it's weird. Weird to think about. Every country has their different tiers of 
wealth though. I think there's actually a historic house down here. Is it the Hanley home there to the left? Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, looks like they just tore down a house over there. That's gone. I think that's the Hanley house over there. One of the Hanley family's houses or something. I don't know. I guess I could stop and look at it. Or I could just ride my bike past it. Is that the house? I don't know. Maybe that's actually someone else. Maybe that's actually someone's house that's living in there. I don't know. I don't know. Hanley house. I have to look that up. That's an interesting house. Look at that one. It's kind of like a Frank Lloyd Wright house or something. Or one of those like 60s style houses. I don't know. I don't know. What road is this? I think I come up and down this one before. Is this uh, north and south? No, it's Hanley. This is Hanley. Okay. That's fine. All right, let's wait for a moment. Here we go. Jump out into the street. Whee! Into the street we go. Utility work ahead. Why? Why? No, I'm going to go this way. They've been building a building here to the right. Let's go see how far along they are yet. It's like condos, I think, or something. There actually is a little bike lane here. Yeah, see right there. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, they haven't gotten very far since I last went by here. It's been a little while. See, there's like a crane to the left there. It's got a America flag hanging from it. And it uh, doesn't look like they've built any many floors yet. I think this bike lane disappears here in a second. I think. Hey, see they got construction to the left. I gotta kinda hold on to the handlebars right now as I'm going to the intersection, but I'll turn in a second. You can see. Uh, I gotta watch out these potholes too. Yeah, so there you go. Not much over there yet, you can't really see. Maybe someone will watch this video in the future and they'll be like, oh, I live there now, or whatever. I kind of doubt it, but you know, possible. I think I left here. There's kind of nobody around right now. You can see more of the construction there. It looks like they have added one floor to the building so far. It's unfortunate because all these smaller buildings with the small businesses, you know, they might be rich people who own the small businesses, but you know, they're getting bought up and uh, torn down, so that's still sad. We lose some low rise, you know, buildings and just have all these high rises. There's a county police department there. Probably don't want me taking photos of them, but hey, I'm in public, so if you don't want me to see it, then you gotta put on your, uh, your cloak or in in invisibility or whatever. <laughs> Let's make a left now, because we're at work now, essentially. So we're gonna go left here. Like we're going home from work. We'll probably do a, a, a two-part video, but all in one video. It's all going to be in this video. <laughs> we went to work, now we're, now we're leaving work. <clears throat> Bike blogger, what do you do? What are you talking about? I'm a cop. Right? A cop that rides a bike? What? No, you're not a cop. How can you be a cop? You're a nice guy. I oh, know, I love cops, or whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Anyway, we're going home now, so let's head on down the hill here and we will wait at the light because we followed it all most of the time, well, all the time, all the time. I will not commit any more crimes, <laughs> said the criminal. This is the last time I'll do it. Last time. I'm just rambling at this point, Pepsi. Free Pepsi advertising on the Bike Blogger channel. Not supported by them. Let's do a little poll. Do you like Pepsi or Coca-Cola? What's your favorite? Or is, it, or is it an off brand? Is it the store brand? Coke. I don't really have a preference. I think, I think Pepsi tastes a little more sweet. I haven't drank soda for like 20 years though. It's kind of a, it's kind of a crazy. If you, if you haven't, been if you don't drink any like caffeinated stuff uh, or carbonated stuff i guess with soda and then you all of a sudden have some soda oh my gosh at least with all the sugar it just hits you like whoa i had that happen to me once i think i was 
maybe maybe it has been less than 20 years since i had a soda but i went out to eat somewhere and i actually ordered i don't know a soda i don't know if it was a sprite or whatever i'm way off topic that's what we do here in the bike blogger channel and uh it was kind of like wow that hit me hard it was like ah i had to I, I took a sip of it and i had to stop it was just it was like i could feel it going up i don't know like above my what do you, what do you call it above my, my mouth part there like up into my nose and my nostrils and then like i could breathe it almost and then down my throat it was like oh, no no but then you get used to it like a lot of addictive things and uh it's not it doesn't hit you as hard but yeah i'm at a state right now if i did take a sip of soda i'd probably get that poof, that burst of what the heck was that what the heck was that okay, we're kind of going back now the way we came Oh okay, god, we're going home now, guys and gals. In the rain, actually, it stopped raining. I picked a bad time to ride my bike right when it was raining on me. And I'm probably blah, 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 blabbing along here. Bike blabbing along here and uh, bike blogging along here, and you uh, can't even hear me because the microphone is waterlogged. Or the video is probably. <laughs> the video is probably. Whoa, whoa, keep our balance here looking at the camera can't do that gotta be careful gotta be careful can't do that uh so whew. hopefully you can see i don't know i don't know if you say downhill downhill i wouldn't want to be living like right here because can you imagine like every day you know or at least in the work work, work days you know every day bike blogger just come down there and just going Bar vlogger and just yelling and stuff right along by your house wouldn't that be annoying i think it'd be annoying but i don't know i mean i'm bike vlogger, so i don't know i don't know maybe it wouldn't be annoying maybe i'd be like hey you're cheering me on you're cheering me on am i talking to anybody does anybody watch these videos i think they do i think you guys do you're not bots right you're not bots isn't that the thing now chat bots or whatever microsoft and oh my gosh i'm so off topic i'm off topic aren't i i'm sorry about that I'm so sorry about that. Lock your bike up. Make sure it's far away from the street. Make sure it's a good, solid lock. Make sure you lock it with the right technique. Make sure you don't let your bike out of your sight. Make sure you uh, just don't lock up your bike and just always keep it with you. Don't lock up a fancy bike if you know, don't lock up a bike you can't afford to replace. Yeah, isn't that the moral of the story? Do not do it. Don't do it. Let's wait for this guy. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for the splashy splash. Splash or splash. All right, up here. I don't like this because you see these cars, they got their tires in the bike lane. So in fact, actually, if you ride in the center of this bike lane, uh, you're still within the door zone. Although I take that back a little bit. Did they re they might have restriped this it's been years this used to be a concrete road i think and now it's asphalt i think they might have restriped the bike lane i think the bike lane is actually wider than it used to be it's not i don't think they made the, the road any bigger though so you can get out of the door zone but you got to be like way over here so you're kind of basically straddling the door zones the cars on your left the cars on your right I'd say probably the best place to be in this bike lane is just off center to the left. I'd probably ride right here. That's why you got a little bit of a gap around you. Of course, you can move back over a little bit when there's no parked cars, but yeah. Oh well. If the solution was to widen the street and you'd have to take out a bunch of these pretty trees. <laughs> I'd be like, leave the hazard. I love the trees. Let's go around this guy. Just way out there. He's got all these oversized. Look at that pickup truck there. Oh, what the heck, dude? I mean, I guess you could get a little bit over the right. That truck's just too wide. Actually, let's get over here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I think the bike lane is wider. It's because they made the shoulder striped, you know, narrower. You can't fit a car in here. No wonder. 
That's what happened. <laughs> bike blogger figured it out. Bike blogger figured it out. They didn't actually make the bike lane wider. They just kind of, well, they did make it wider, but it's, you know, it's impossible to park a car without crossing that line over there. So, eh. I feel like they did that on purpose. I don't think someone just measured incorrectly <laughs> and then didn't want to admit it and they just kept going. I think they did that on purpose. That's really interesting. I don't, I'd have to talk to someone with the city of Clayton about that. Like what happened here? I think they just wanted to widen the, I mean, it's actually very interesting because if you look at it, it's like the shoulder is the narrowest and then the bike lane's a bit wider. And then the, you know, the regular traffic lane to the left, it's quite a bit wider but it's kind of graduated like that. It's interesting. You know, I'm thinking that they probably thought, you know, I'm thinking that they probably put a lot of thought into it, but they probably didn't. <laughs> the amount of time I took to explain that and talk about it, they're probably long gone. You know, they're like, you're going for lunch. Yeah, I don't know, it looks like about right, you know, it's about four or five, 45, four or five, four or five feet wide. I don't know, whatever. Time for lunch, time for lunch. Woo. Oh man. It actually feels real well out here now. I don't feel as cold. I think I've got to kind of warmed up a bit, you know? So anything about where do you lock up your bike? Let me know in the comment section below. Where do you lock your bike? And uh, tell me what time of the day you lock it there. And uh, if it's a combo lock, tell me the combo too in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Bike Blogger. We'll see you in the next video. Woo! Bike blogger outro, bike blogger outro, bike blogger outro.